domain and range of transformed functions. The function f of x has domain of x belongs to real number where x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and range of y belongs to real numbers where y is less than minus 3. Determine the domain and range of the function y equals to minus 2 f of x plus 1. Now to solve these kinds of questions we need to see how the points get transformed on the transform function. So the function which we have here is y equals to minus 2 f of x plus 1. Now as you can see if I have original function points as x and y then how are they going to transform on this function? Well the x values will decrease by 1 since the translation here is one unit left, right? Or let me first write down the trans transformations, right? So we have transformations like one. This one is reflection on x-axis. So that is going to make the positive y values negative. And then we have vertical stretch. by a factor of 2 and then we have horizontal translation one unit left now so the image points will get affected by these things right so what is happening to x value only change for x value is that the point is moving one unit left right that is plus one so the transformed x point will be x minus one how about the y value y is getting multiplied by minus two so that is going to be minus two y so these are the transformed points for us these will also transform the points which are dictating the domain and range so if we take that into consideration, we can straight away write the domain and range of our transform function. So here is how we are going to write it. We said domain is equals to x belongs to real numbers so that now x is greater than or equal to minus 2. The transformation is minus 1 on this. So that means x is greater than or equal to minus 3, right? Minus 2, minus 1. So that gives us the domain and the range will be y belongs to real numbers so that y is this is less than minus 3. So it gets multiplied by minus 2. That means plus 6. Do you see that? So minus 2 times y. So y is less than instead of writing less than my minus 3 now what is happening here is the y value is getting actually reflected right so here in this function was y less than minus 3 so it was coming downwards now it is flipped here it is y is less than minus 3 right so it is downwards and here it is minus 2 times. So it will flip it upwards. So this minus actually changes this point to 6 and does one more thing and that is changes this sign. So it becomes y greater than 6. So that is the effect of the minus here. So this minus actually reflects it and then 2 multiplies 3 right so that is how so when you multiply it you get actually plus 6 so instead of saying y is less than y becomes greater than so whenever you multiply by minus you need to change the sign so that is what you need to take care of and so in this case the range will become greater than 6 and that is going to be the range for this function 
So that is how it is getting transformed. I hope you appreciate that part. Thank you.